Oh well. Hello, welcome to my video diary. For this week's video diary or video journal, we are told to pretend as though we are a new member to a group or organization and ask some, some very specific questions to consider. Um, I actually don't have to pretend as I recently started attending a, a new church, a local church that's um, a, a full gospel church here. Um, God told me that I was supposed to head down a certain road and I didn't know what it meant and I prayed for God to reveal it to me and then the very next day a man invited me to church down that very same road. Um, the very first question that we are asked is, is do you think you'll belong? Well, I, I, obviously, I, I am never sure. You know, we all have uncertainties. But uh, I feel like deep down, uh, my faith tells me that I'm going to belong wherever God leads me or he wouldn't lead me there. I'm there for a purpose. Um, how well does the group work together? Well, when I first began, the group was very, very small. Um it's grown significantly in, in this short amount of time. As the group grows, um, there has been some struggles. Uh, like people are welcome to share when led by the Spirit in the middle of service. Uh, the pastor welcomes that. Uh, oftentimes, though, people that seem not necessarily to be led in the Spirit don't have something to contribute that... Uh, it's productive to the discussion and the message, but have questions oftentimes, lots of questions, and we'll ask those questions in the middle of service, although Pastor addressed that today, to please save questions and that kind of thing for the end of service. Um, because, you know, generally as, as we're inquisitive, one, one, one question leads to answers that then produce more questions and so on. Um... Are people's strengths and differences effectively utilized? Uh, so far from what I see, yes. And I think the pastor does very good to be spirit-led and to recognize people's abilities and uh, their strengths and uh, to give people an opportunity to serve uh, when he feels led as if they feel led. Um, how might I utilize my unique gifts and skill set? Um, we I began attending on the 24th of December, and I uh, was invited to deliver a message on the, I believe it was the 4th of February. I'll be delivering another message on the 3rd of March, and maybe once once a month now. Um, initially, I just shared as led by the Spirit, and uh, things that I felt were, were re relevant that God wanted the congregation to know. And uh, my own personal testimonies and experiences and thoughts. And then that led to me having the opportunity to deliver a message. And uh, we've watched the church grow from a, about five people, a handful of people, to about uh, uh, 30 plus people in a very short period of time. Thankful to see God moving in the community and hope to continue to serve in any way God desires me to. Uh, let's see, are there barriers, biases, or stereotypes affecting the achievement of goals or outcomes? Definitely, there's uh, some barriers. that we. There's several people that attend the church uh, sporadically that uh, are, are not believers. There's uh, a lot of people from all different walks of lives. Uh, um, and uh, people that need, uh, that need healing and need Jesus. So, and with that, there's always going to become certain certain. Uh, you know, uh, barriers, biases, and obstacles, uh, you know, and, and some of the other members have come from a, a Baptist church in town that they left, and they bring some of the uh, beliefs of that church with them, some of the, you know, uh, a little different, uh, we all believe in Jesus, definitely, in the gospel, but definitely structured a little differently than a full gospel church. Um, what would I change? Um... Well, one of the things that led to uh, the pastor and I being close was uh, he said something that I believe didn't line up with Scripture, which I wasn't moved to speak on it in the you know uh, by the Spirit, but I just discerned for my own purposes. 
but afterwards he asked me what, what my thoughts were on the sermon he delivered. So I, I talked about how great it was. I talked about there was only one issue that I had with it, and he asked what that was. Uh, and I put together a Bible study for him with different scriptures that I thought would kind of show him the truth about where he was mistaken. Um, and he was more than willing to read it, and that was awesome. So I don't really think that I need to change anything. I think that uh, we have a, a leadership that's willing to uh, follow scripture and uh, listen to God and be led in the Spirit and uh, make changes as necessary. And that's that's an awesome and, and, and beautiful thing. Uh, I believe that we'll just keep letting God take the lead. How might the feeling of being an outsider motivate you? To create a culture of trust and belonging for other new people. Well, um, I feel like just the fact that I've been invited to deliver messages and then invited to be the associate pastor in such a short time, I think goes to show that uh, everybody is accepted and welcome and that um, God's running the show and the pastor is open to God doing whatever he wants. So, uh God says, come as you are. So come as you are. You're all welcome. Well, uh, that's all I have for today. Thank you, and God bless.